Hello again. You caught me just as I was preparing for a fancy night out. What I want to do is figure out which tie to wear. And at that, I figured I'd show you a few different tie knots that you can try. For each tie that I'm going to try on, I'm going to show you a different knot. Five ties in total. First knot, probably the simplest, the first one you'll learn, which is the four in hand. It's a very thin knot, so it goes well with thin necks. And because it's such a thin knot, you don't need as much tie in the part of the knot that is not shown. So you want the thick end of the tie about down here, and the thin end of the tie above the belt. Your goal is to have the tip right at your belt buckle. So to start, you wrap thick end over around the thin end, keep that tight, and then you wrap it again loose because you're making a loop. Move the thick end through the neck hole and then down through the loop you just made. Believe it or not, that's it. Just tighten it up, move it up to your neck, and the tip of your tie should be at your belt buckle. As you see, it's a very small knot and it's asymmetric. Most of the mass is on this side. The way you know you've tied it correctly if you undo it, it should just unravel, no knotting. Because it's asymmetric, it's fairly casual. And typically what I go for is the half Windsor. Half Windsor is just like the four in hand, but with one extra step. So to start with, move the tie, short end of the tie right here. I'm giving myself a bit more slack on the thick end because there's one extra step. So move it over just like the start of the forehand hand and move it behind just like the forehand hand. Where it becomes different is now I want to move it and loop it around this arm because it's around this arm that balances it out and gives you a bit more symmetry. From here on out it's just like the forehand hand. So one loose loop around move the thick end through the neck hole, and then down through the loop you just made. That's it. At that point, just firm it up, move it up to your neck. Again, tip of the tie down at your belt buckle. You can see it's a bit wider of a knot, and it's symmetric. This is my go-to simple tie knot. Just like the forehand, when you undo it, no knotting. That works for a variety of neck sizes. If you have a thicker neck, you might want to go with the full Windsor. So full Windsor, just like how the forehand hand was, plus a step was the half Windsor, the full Windsor is the half Windsor plus a step. So to start, then end of the tie right here. Again, I'm giving myself a bit more slack on the thicker end because there's one extra step. Start out just the same, over, thick end over the thin end. And but rather than going behind, like the half Windsor, start out by going around this arm. Now you go behind. And from here on out, it's just the half Windsor. So, around the other arm. Because you're around both arms, that gives you a bit more stability. Make a loose loop. Put the thick end of the tie behind, through the neck hole, down through the loop you just made. So because you wrapped it around both arms, it should be pretty symmetric, wider. Again, put the tie at the belt buckle, wide knot, symmetric. And when you loosen it, it should just come undone. Those are the three knots everyone should know. The next knot, it's very simple, and it's just for fun. The Kelvin, and it's basically just the forehand hand with a twist. The twist being that you start out and tie backwards. Now with the forehand hand, you went over with the thick end. This time, 
you go under with the thick end. And from here on out, it's just the flooring hand. So keep this tight, right here. And then a loose loop. And you loop the thick end from behind through the neck hole and down through the loop you just made. Because you're coming from the other direction and because the tie is backwards, those cancel out, so the tie should be facing front. And you just knot it up. The difference between this and the forehand hand is that the back of the tie should be reversed. So the forehand hand was asymmetric going this way, and this one is asymmetric going this way. The other difference is that when you undo it, it should stay in a knot, which means you actually have to unknot it. The last knot I want to show is a bit eccentric. It's the Eldridge knot. The advantage of the Eldridge knot, one, it looks interesting, it makes you stand out, and two, the thick end of the tie doesn't move at all when you tie it. So you can line it up right to where you want it to end up, and from there on out, you don't need to move it. The entire knot is done with the thin end of the tie. So to start, move it with the thin end over the top, behind the back, and now you put it through the neck hole. Then, excuse me, around the back, put it through the neck hole. Then, you move it through the front, around the front, and again through the neck hole. Then, around the back, you can see there's a pattern forming here. So, around the back, around the front, around the back. This time though, rather than going through the neck hole, you make a loop, and you put it through the loop. You may also be noticing that at every step of the way, I'm trying to keep it as tight as possible. Unlike the other knots where you tighten at the end, this one is complicated enough that you want to make sure that it is tight at every step so it doesn't come undone. I'm going to just tighten it up. There you go. Because it's tight at every step, you can see it's very pinched thin at the bottom here. Now, really there's only one more step left, and that's doing a figure eight around both arms. So you go from the top to the bottom on this side, and then you move up, top to the bottom on this side, and that makes a loop. And to complete the figure eight, you move this part through the loop. And again, tighten it up. There you go. Clear knot. That is it. That's done. You should have a bit of a tab left over but that just gets hidden by the collar. If you really care, you can tuck it underneath that arm of the tie. That's a very wide knot, but a lot of that width should be hidden by your collar. At the end of the day, you should have a very triangular shaped knot with a nice zigzag pattern. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with this one. I hope you learned something today. And what do you think? Do I look dashing? Well, I'm gonna have a fun evening. See you next time.